loves is Vazi and welcome or welcome back to Vazi TV where I give you tutorials, information and inspiration on all things natural hair from locks to curls and coils as well. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve my finger coil pixie cut style look. <laughs> If you guys watched uh, my last video, you saw that I did let my mom chop it off, honey. And since then, I actually went a little lower on the sides and in the back. I'm so in love with this haircut, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to find my curls with this new pixie cut. But first, if you can take anything from this video or any of my previous videos, whether that be a nice good laugh, whether you smile, or whether you have some information that you are able to take from any of my videos, do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you will be notified whenever I post next. You gotta cut on the bell notification as well. So now let's go ahead and get into it. I already washed it. And I applied my leave-in, which is going to be the Cantu Avocado Hydrating Repair Leave-In. I love this stuff so much. It's actually also in my spray bottle with my warm water. Tip, tip, whenever you want to rehydrate your hair, it is super beneficial to add your favorite leave-in conditioner to the water and spray it on. Helps moisturize it significantly, ladies, okay? Let's get into it. So I'm gonna be using the Wet Line Extreme to define my curls. And you guys, this stuff here is awesome. The hold is awesome and it doesn't get too crunchy. But even if it does get crunchy, you guys, all you have to do is take some oil and just rub it through your hair once you're done styling it and it bounces it back instantly, okay? So, all right, so first I'm gonna start in the back. I always start in the back. It just makes sense, right? Start in the back. I'm gonna go in and spray. Spray my hair down because it's damp, but it's not. But I ain't wet, wet no more. The first thing I do is basically kind of get a feel for where um, I'm gonna start the coils. And I'm just gonna part it in half. Like so. Alright, so the back is now finished and it's time to go ahead and head to the top. So I'm gonna remove these. Now when I get to the top, what I like to do is I like to pull it out to kind of see like how I want it to lay. So I can go ahead and part it off in that way. 
I'm gonna part this in half. So the biggest thing I focus on when doing these finger curls is not to worry about the roots too much but more so the ends making my ends coil because I still want my roots to kind of have like a loose effect and not so tight like if you were to do starter locks so I don't focus too much on the root. Um, I just go probably about a half an inch out from the root and then I start to coil. And you want to use a rat tail comb just to make sure those ends are as smooth as possible because you are finger coiling them. You want them to be smooth and not ragged because then your curls won't come out right. <laughs> so yeah, just go in, take a strand of hair, finger coil it, and move along, honey. That be a struggle, y'all. Trying to make sure that you're not combing out one of the already established finger coils like I just did. Bruh. Bruh. Now it's time to diffuse, you guys. This is the part that matters the most. I don't know about the most, but it matters. Because when you want to diffuse your curls, depending on how you want your style to be, you know, you're gonna have to manipulate it. So, in order for me to get mine to have the stick up effect, I flip my head down and I diffuse the top of it and then the back. And then I'm gonna go and lay the sides. Alright, so now that, that part is done, it's about 90% dry. The roots are really the parts that still need to dry the most, but we're gonna let that be right now. Ow, I hurt myself. <laughs> Alright, so right now what I'm gonna do is, um, now I'm gonna show you guys how I just kind of like lay down the perimeter. Yes. But in order to do so, I need to go grab my brush. Right, right, right. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the spray bottle. I'm not gonna spray directly on my hair because we ain't got time for the girls to fall. I'm just gonna spray some water in my hand. Not a lot, no squirt. And literally just hit it around the edges. Honestly, you could do this stuff before you diffuse, but I like to just kind of diffuse it so the, the curls can um, form and lay the way I want them to, so I can kind of see like what needs to be laid down and what doesn't. So after I apply the water, I'm gonna go back in with the wet line extreme gel. I'm gonna take a little bit and just work it into the back. 
nothing too heavy. Alright, now I'm going to just brush the back down. Now the thing about me and my taper cut, I don't want the backs to be super late. Like I kind of wanted to show like a little curl pattern, not too much, just a little. Um, I'm going to take it lower next time I do a cut. So now we're going to go ahead and make this all party like. Lay those edges, boom. It's really not the best thing. Um, if you over manipulate your edges, they will become thin. So if you're experiencing thin edges, do something different or don't lay them as often. I really just, I lay them the first day and depending on, you know, if I go anywhere, if I'm doing anything super important, I'll lay them again, but not every day. But before you lay your edges, apply some Jamaican black castor oil and that my friend will help draw stick lay. Actually help sticking your edges and it just makes sense, you know, like protect them. Now I'm gonna go in with my toothbrush. I don't have one of those fancy edge brush. I mean, I wish I did. I will probably end up going to get one eventually, but this is what I've been working with since I was a kid. So this is what I know. This is what I'm sticking to right now. But first I'm just gonna kinda go and see like where I want my baby hairs to lay and just kind of manipulate them a little bit, you know? Hey, yes. Baby, can you focus on me, please? <laughs> All right, y'all, we gonna pick it out. When you want to give yourself some volume, guys, do not pick it out all the way to the ends. Just do your roots because if you go too far, you're just going to mess up the whole hairstyle. Curls are going to be gone and you're going to be mad. So generally, like what I like to do is just kind of take the sides and pull it out a little. And then work my way up. See what I mean right there? You can't really tell, but yeah, don't go too far in the back because you ain't, if, especially if it's not going long. Get out as you feel. And big tip, if your roots are still pretty wet, you want to do this when they're dry. Like I said, mine is like 90%, so it's not that big of a deal for me right now, but if it wasn't um, that far along, I would definitely dry it more before taking this step. All right. We're gonna add some oil. Remember I said if it feels a little crunchy, just take it some oil. And rub a do there. Mine really doesn't feel crunchy, but I like to put oil as my finish. Or you could put a hair serum as your finish, whichever one you prefer. A hair serum is a little lighter. And depending on what oil you use, you can have a light oil. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is it. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on your bell notifications so you're notified when I post next. And until next time, love you lots and talk to you later.